Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, mm. Stella. All right, we're coming in with Power Book 4 Force. This is episode 6. This is Who, who We, we are. are. Diamond. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get right into it because we just we just got some things that we need to talk about. Yeah, man. First of all, once again, a good episode of Power again. Mm -hmm. Once again, once again. But this week, man, we had three funerals. <laughs> really? <laughs> we had one in the woods, one at a bar, and one at a real church. So. <laughs> and then at the end, we got another one. That's yeah, four. so four funerals. Yeah. All in this, this episode. Because we know last week that everybody lost a man except for Tommy. And so this week, Vic Diamond... And Janar had a meeting <laughs> behind Tommy's back to vote him out the group because they say Tommy is bad for business. Bad for the city. And, yeah, bad for business and the city. <laughs> say, God do it. So Tommy was taking it to me like like too he, good. to get too good. But we know that he, he got Dally. He got Dally on the side, but I still was blown away. That he they came away like that. They came to consensus to buy his coke to make him whole at thirty eight thousand a key a, br a brick. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's three hundred eighty thousand because he got ten of them. <laughs> and I'm like, this dude just come out of nowhere. None of y'all know him. Y'all don't have no reason to make him whole, but y'all did. But you did. <laughs> but when they say you didn't have to do it. But I'm glad you did. Yeah, and I and if I was them, I would have been kind of leery too. Be like, okay, he we he was, yeah, we did this whole yeah. plan with you, and now we're kicking you out, and you're like, okay, yeah. After but he was like, okay, pipeline. right? He was like, okay, even before they offered to make him whole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he even said, I already knew about it. I, I know, yeah, I, I know, yeah. I know. Y'all had a meeting. <laughs> I was like, because this is what you know they gonna do, right? Exactly. But then I told my husband, I said, what if? Tommy set this entire thing up as an advantage to him to weaken each other's party. That's because what I'm thinking. Yeah. Everyone knows that there's going to be a casualty at war. Right. So Tommy is the only person, like you said, that didn't have anybody to really lose in the fight. Right. But himself. Exactly. So there was a chance that Diamond was gonna lose somebody. Janard, well, Diamond didn't have anybody. Janard and um Vic was gonna lose somebody. So was that a way of weakening the enemy on the inside? Right, because I think Tommy's whole thing is that he gonna want to run Dahlia through that pipeline. Exactly. That's that's what he wants. Exactly. So he don't even care nothing about the other stuff because he know once Dahlia hits the streets, it's gonna be like wildfire. And it's everybody, gonna be like weed. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, everybody gonna want in. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be the new weed. Yep. So this episode, Jannard really impressed me because he was talking to Diamond after they kicked Tommy out the group, and they was they was talking about that the Serps is gonna circle back. And because they're going to have a gun in one hand and, and looking for money in, in the other. So, Janard like was like, let's open up an escrow account. And we're going to take 10% of everything we make <laughs> and put it in that account. So, when he come, we can hand him some money. That's what y'all know Diamond about was like, man, now you, you think it. <laughs> okay. So, now that Tommy is kicked out of the group, he <laughs> goes. He the Eddie Kane of the <laughs> yeah. group. He the Eddie Kane. So, he go and talk to Claudia about Dahlia. So Claudia wants Dahlia to be a high-end product. And Tom was like, we ain't got time for that bullshit. What we're going to do is we're going over to this conventional center and we're going to set up some lockers like Tariq them did. I said, uh-huh. Of course, correct. <laughs> and people will come and pick it up that way. But Claudia had doubts about it. was like, well, what if somebody screw us over? Tom was like, all they got one time to screw us over and that's going to be, it's going to be a one and done. Well, I like <laughs> how, how tight they don't got Everybody bonds a little bit over bearing a body. Because y'all remember last week, we forgot to talk about it. I don't even know yeah, how we, we forgot to it. talk yeah. about it. But Claudia don't off her old girl that brought her down here. Yep. So her and Tommy had to bury the body. I said, oh yeah, I guess they are real cool and, yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. Staking out the place together. <laughs> so this episode, while, while they staking out the place, trying to figure everything is good and everything. Oh, Tommy come out in the freaking tailor-made suit, man. To the, the point, wife beat a suit. To the point, <laughs> to the point that God was like, man, let us know what cryptocurrency currency we should buy. 
Hey, Tom ain't never lie. He said, you know, I like my money the old fashioned way. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Cash underneath the, and underneath the mattress. <laughs> so after they got everything good and they see everything is coping steady and set the lockers up, now it's time to go give it to some dist distros to find out if they want to sell a product. So what they did was they went and gave them some samples. And when of they Dahlia, came yeah. of Dahlia, and when we came, when, when they came to the lockers, it was so funny because they were looking at the black bag like the fuck is this? Because I would have thought it was a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. But then I'm yeah, like, why set you, me up. Why would you do this in public though? Right. It was the Amish guy for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when they end up trying it, oh, they was in. They was like, bet, we are in. Because they had the same reaction to it the same way that Tommy did. Except they didn't pass out. Yeah, they didn't pass out. <laughs> so the whole episode, we know that originally um, uh, Claudia had went and talked to her fan, Reggie, because Reggie was supposed to be the one helping her push this, but Tommy was like, but oh, Tom was like, no, uh, 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 -uh. we kicking, we kicking Reggie out. Do Reggie push? Do he push a lot of weight? She was like, he can do a little something. He was like, like nah. Uh -uh. He go to the back of the line. He, <laughs> he said, now nah, Liliana is the only person that we need. Yep. And like she said, she was like, well, how do you know? He was like, she used to work for me. She had an opportunity to turn on me, and she didn't. Yeah. Like, she don't took a bullet and all of that. She ain't turned yet. Yeah, That's she the, legit. I said, well, Tommy, the way you put it, like, we all looking at her like, okay, we trust her, but we don't trust her. Yeah. But the way <laughs> you put it like that, okay, I guess. I guess. Right. So, Reggie got tired of Claudia ducking his text, so he decided to roll up on her. Yeah. And I didn't expect for her for him to come at her like that. You know, this like, is family, but I know when it comes down when it comes down to game, money. you know, ain't, ain't no ain't nobody off limits. So she had to end up killing Reggie. And they had to end up burning Reggie too. <laughs> Thank God, don't. So that's freaking four bodies buried in one episode. Hey, we might be having to bury another body because we saw where they rolled up on Kimmis Bay, right? Right. The one that created Dahlia. And they had her at the place and, you know, they staking out, okay, we got this, we need that. Okay, all of this stuff paid for. And she was like, all of it's paid for, free and clear. We can use what we need to use. But she's supposed to have went to the bathroom and ain't nobody seen see her. her yet. Yeah. So they said go in the bathroom and check on her, but we ain't got that far yet. I said, did old girl offer herself or did she have, I don't run Did she run? Or slid out the bathroom window or whatever. Mm. I don't know. We're going to get yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah. We're going to see. Because without her, we have yeah, no we business. Doubt. Yeah, we have no doubt Nobody about her. Nobody knows how to recreate it. Right. So also in this episode, JP surprised the hell out of me. We saw him and Tommy still at the house. Mm -hmm. Putting in that work, moving the stove. Why are they always doing <laughs> stuff at the grandma's house? I think he, I think he, I think he uh, JP, bored? I think he renovating, JP renovating. With what? I don't know. Because <laughs> he ain't got no money. So that's what he was doing. He was telling Tommy, like, basically, I got in over my head. It was just one thing after another from the bar to my dad getting sick and everything was coming along. Tommy said, my head. hospital bill, that'll yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll do it every time. So this episode, JP tells Tommy, Ask Tommy, okay, what is it that you really do? I need the truth. What did you do? Tommy said, okay, I'm a drug dealer. And I thought that JP was going to just like go clean off because you remember Tommy already gave him some money. So that basically puts him in if something goes down. Yeah, he knows about it. Right. But, but JP was like, basically, I put me on the corner. I'm ready to work. He said, I just need me. My A is broke. I need some cash. He said, I, I used to do a little something back Yeah, in the I used day. to sell a little. <laughs> well, Thomas said, said, could you sell a little weed? That don't mean you can do it. was no not weed. weed. I said, let him continue to talk. Yeah, what you were selling, bro. What you were selling, though. Yeah. I want to know. <laughs> but in this episode, remember, old boy, that Jannar had paid the money to to babysit Tommy to figure out what Tommy was up to. Yeah. He was ear hustling, and we know that's JP's son. Yeah. He was ear hustling the entire conversation. Well, we hope that he was ear hustling the entire conversation. Right. But he heard enough that he went back to Janard and was like, I can't. I can't do this job. I can't do this job for this money. You need to find you another corner boy to do this. I hope that boy realized that his father just didn't leave him. Yeah. And, you know, went out of his life without even trying. Exactly. So, but you know how it is. You always hear the end of the story that didn't make any sense 
the beginning of it made no sense to you. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And we know right here, um, me and the queen was talking about it. Basically, we've been talking about from day one when Tommy met JP, he and know he had a bar. Tommy was going to want to yes. clean through that bar. And now with JP having an interest and want to make some money because he broke. He manipulated Yep, him. he in there now. <laughs> he Tommy in there. master manipulated yeah, he in there. JP. Yeah, he in there. He brought him the money. Yep. He keeps coming up with these solutions to uh -huh. his problem. And JP has a solution to one of your problems. Yep. Clean the money through. Just like dialysis. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, so we saw the fans that rolled up on Walter at the dialer center that he's so bucked up he couldn't even log into the goddamn system. Why? I said, come on. Because he don't know what he's doing. Mm -mm. And hey, so at least you could have known the log in. Right. And so Claudia had to end up coming and bailing him out, and then he's still gonna talk skit to her, man. And I'm some. This is how we know you're not ready because you weren't here. Like what? You should have been ready. How she gonna be everywhere you is when the feds roll up on you? You ought to stay ready too. You ain't never lie. <laughs> so last week we saw these same FBI agents taking a look at Polly was like, this is gonna be our way into Walter. So they roll up on him and basically said, we got 26 years of information on you. You need to give up Walter. And he didn't necessarily, my thing, gave up Walter, but he was he like, yeah, yeah, he was like, well, he's hard to sink. And, but I'm not going to be the one that's going to roll over on him. But you basically kind of did telling them that he hard to sink. Uh -huh. So You said that boy floats. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I I'm, I'm definitely want to see if he going to eventually roll over on Walter. Because Walter was talking skit to that him. That's what I said. How yeah, you he was sideways? disrespecting him all episode. And he was taking it. But I'm like, shoot, you don't know Walter. So either you're going to be in jail or dead. <laughs> uh, messing around with Polly. That's what I don't understand. The people that... You depend on the most to keep your darkest secrets, to keep you safe. Why you talk so... I mean, he just... Yeah. He worse than Monet when it comes to them kids, man. Yep. <laughs> and and Paula was taking it hard with Simon's death, too. And, yeah. you know, you know, Walter did tell him that, you know, there's still hope for your son. But he don't, he don't, he don't believe it. I don't but, believe it either. <laughs> right. Vic also pissed me off this episode because... Mm -hmm. He wants to insist that Gloria needs to come to the family dinner tonight. Nope. And I'm like, I'm like, Vic, why in the hell would you want to bring your queen into an atmosphere where she's not wanted? Very hostile. Yeah. I'm like, I ain't, I I'm not fitting to bring my queen somewhere that I know they that the people are going to disrespect her. I, that's a guaranteed fight. And flip the script. Right. Why would I go somewhere where I'm being tolerated and not celebrated? Right. So I'm like, you really think that Gloria would go? I mean, when I he think said she, it, she probably, I think she would out of, spite, out of spite, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't let her go. Mm -mm. Cause you know what's gonna happen. You know what Walter gonna do? He gonna do a whole lot of slurs. Yep, racial slurs at that about how she's never gonna be good enough. How the children never gonna be good enough. We, we're over it. Right. But I, but one thing I can say is this: Walter be hitting Vic upside the head with some subtle hard truths. He said um, that, oh boy. Y'all been friends since grade school. Like, y'all grew up together. And now he's dead because of your shit. Yeah. <laughs> it, that is true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah he right about That's that. That's a hard pill to swallow. That's yeah. almost like me taking me and my best friend go riding out to do some skit. And she ended up being the one dead. Yeah. Man, I probably could never. Yeah, that's a hard one to uh, to get, get over, man. Mm -hmm. So, we see that. Vic eventually go and tell Gloria that, hey, you coming to dinner tonight. But before he could get it out good, somebody rolls through and starts shooting. And uh, we believe that it was, it was the Serbs coming back. And then Vic also thinks the Serbs coming back as well. But it seems too fast, though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, but Gloria. <laughs> Gloria. Yeah, boy. I was going to say, yeah. Gloria was red tea. Yeah. yeah. So the first thing I thought, I said, Walter better lay off of Gloria because they're like, Gloria ain't afraid to pull the trigger. Hmm. She'll take you out before that bronchitis, dude. <laughs> right. <laughs> so after the shooting, Vic runs back home and Walter's like, what's wrong with you? And he said, I think the Serps is after me. And he was like, 
Why would the surfs be after you? Why said, would they be shooting at you? I say, you don't know about that? <laughs> and then Walter put it all together. I, I actually thought Walter knew the entire, the entire story. story. But no, he didn't. He said, I know what it is. You're working with Tommy. That's 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 why all this bullshit went down because you were messing with him. And we knew <laughs> that Walter was not going to let it go at this point. Nope. Now, one thing I can't say. I love me a good mama bear and a papa bear. That if you mess with the kids, I'm yeah. coming after your way. But the kids, they go through so much Must to get that. Get there, no, yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, speaking of, so then at the end of the episode, we see Walter go and roll up on the Serps uh, and shoots all three of them and tells the waiter <laughs> the, and tells the waitress to tell the Serps. This is what happened. This is what happened. <laughs> that you don't mess with my boy. I said, if that ain't gangster. Right. But hold on, wait a minute. Why was he able to just roll up on the Serps like that? Yeah. But, because they welcomed him. They was like, they, was, they were like, hey, they were yeah. But I guess maybe when he walk and talks to them, that they, they, normally that ain't the problem. They called you. They got yeah, they called you. They got understanding to that. Yeah. Yeah. So the lines was crossed when they got. But I'm like, Walter didn't even verify to make sure that it was them. We still don't know it was them. And he could have created a war that wasn't even there. Because like I said. The Serps came back too fast for me. Like, they're right. very calculating. That ain't even their style, like rolling up in ping, ping, pow, pows. I don't know. Or. Or maybe it is or did Or did Vic set his daddy up? Ooh. Ooh. Did that would have been a good one. Yeah, did Vic set his daddy up? Because it is weird that he ran home and, and cried to <laughs> Papa. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Huh. Interesting indeed. So, to make, it look, to make it look like the whole hit... Was their family. Yeah. Yeah. Just a guess. What y'all think? Yeah. Just a guess. We saved the best for last. Oh my I'm God. I'm like, Diamond, I know you ain't had no mm -hmm. draws in 15 years. But you don't see a setup when... You couldn't see that that girl, that Adrian was setting you up. She looked just like the police, man. When I saw her at the booth, I, I was yeah. like, you know what? She the police. And she gave you draws the first night. That quick? What kind of incentive and bonuses do she the, get? The only thing y'all talked about was your grandma and potatoes. Swear country cooking <laughs> would do it, man. <laughs> so yeah, grandma's so, hands. So we saw that after after they got finished, she went out there and she looked in, on it and, and it showed oh, him well, being in, in prison for 15 years. I said, hold on. So, we don't know 100% if she is the feds. But it's too convenient. But it is, yeah, it is definitely too convenient. I got a feeling that it is and that. And this, she got his nose wide open. Yep. He's walking down sidewalks in the yep. middle of the <laughs> day. Talking about saying, you look like you got a whole lot of food. She said, well, I got extras. He about to go bang again. But he was so impressed with himself. He was like, when I was giving it to you, I ain't know what no, I was going to do. It'll be 15 it's, years. <laughs> has it been diamond? <laughs> But my question is, is, th is that going to be the nail in the coffin to put Diamond back in prison? He doing a whole lot for somebody that just got yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but hey, that's typical though. Yeah. It's typical. They, somebody in my comments said it perfectly because I used to always call them motivational speakers. They say the right things at the right, right time, time, but the actions is far well, from it. Yeah, man. On that note, it's it's getting it's getting good, y'all. Yeah, it's getting good. So I I'm just sitting around to wait and see what's gonna happen when Dahlia hit the street. Cause we know when Dahlia hit the streets, some more bodies are gonna hit the floor. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down. Holla. Boom.